I never asked to be the Mockingjay. I just wanted to save my sister and keep PETA alive. I like PETA bread too, but what's that got to do with survival staffs and walking sticks? <laughs> Nothing, Bunky. The Vineyard Chick survival staffs are packed with survival essentials, but let's keep the food in our go buckets and in bug out bags. And this video is a review of our walking sticks and survival staffs. And this video includes my top 20 things to include in your survival staff and additional ideas for ways to make your walking stick perfect for you. Plus, we will show some never before seen footage from the making of our walking staffs and a link at the end to our original video about using it. First, here's a little parody song about survival staffs and walking sticks. And now our top 20 things to include in your survival staff. Plan for your staff's height. The bottom section of my staff is one foot, the middle is two foot, and the end is one foot, and the top is one foot. But by the time I'd finished adding all of the connectors, it was 57 inches. Personalize your staff for your needs. Paracord is so important and this keeps it from tangling. And see the description if you'd like to see what's in my go bucket and bug out bag. Carabiners. Extra hands and hands free. And then she has a carabiner strap. So if you want it on one, on one shoulder, you can do that. You can tighten it or loosen it. Or you can just put it around your shoulder. Releasable multi-tool and self-defense. So attached to the carabiner, I have my multi-tool, which has lots of really useful tools like screwdrivers and blades, all sorts of great things. Just release and cowabunga. Fire kits. This is also extremely helpful. I have magnesium rods in there that you can use to strike a flame. I also have waterproof matches, normal matches, and kindling, such as wax-coated cotton and other things that will light easy if you strike the magnesium rods. Practice like a ninja. To see me take my walking stick out foraging and show you its features in more detail, don't miss the full length video. Signaling kit. I also have a whistle that can be used to signal for help. And finally, something that I found really cool that I really wanna learn is Morse code. This is a Morse code cheat sheet. For those of you like me who does not know Morse code yet. Foldable poncho, because dry is almost as good as these, fire. This cap comes off, Ooh. which is a really great thing. Can you hold that? that. <laughs> this is a poncho. First aid and a straw. I have two first aid kits in here because first aid is extremely important, especially when you're out in the wilderness. And I couldn't fit everything into one container. I have more super glue in this because like I said with wounds, you can put it on your wound to seal your wound. I have lots of band-aids, alcohol disinfectant wipes, and, med and medicines. Medical kit. Mm. Next, there's, what is that one? Neosporin. I put some Neosporin in one of these tubes for wounds. I also put Benadryl because some of us, KK, have allergies and really need these. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they pass out instantly. And then this one is Tylenol. Again, yeah. if you get hurt. Sewing kit. I have blanket pins in it. A sewing needle and sewing thread. I don't know what that's called. Twine, maybe? And zip ties, because zip ties are awesome and I couldn't figure out any other kit that, that zip ties would fit in. So, zip ties. Dish soap. Regular old straw that you'll get from the store, but I took a lighter to it. Huh? I used a lighter to melt the edge of the straw, and then I flattened it to seal it off, and then I pu pumped dish soap into it, because dish soap is the best. Yes, it's actually a bit better at cleaning than normal hand soap is, so a bit of this will go a long way. So we got a straw of, of dish soap, sealed at both ends. Fishing kit the fishing kit, which is your basic fishing supplies. Um, bait and fishing line. And the awesome thing about these 
the awesome thing about this staff is you can tie the fishing line to the end and use the staff as your stick and just go. Reusable electric tape. Electrical tape and duct tape in some places. And I went with black because it's kind of a neutral color and it looks cool against the red. A pencil with duct tape on it. Ooh. Because I put duct tape on a lot of things in here because duct tape can have so many uses and it's really helpful. So not only is it wrapping our staffs, but it is also on some of the things inside of it because you never know what you can use duct tape for. And pencils, if you need to write a note, also very helpful. Uh. Rubber band, slingshot. I have a heavy duty rubber band that will not break very easily. I've tried. That will make a good slingshot because that can be used as a weapon or a means of hunting food. Slingshots are really cool. Storage kit. Here I have Ziploc bags for anything you need, storing food or carrying water in. And I also have them rubber banded to aluminum. Now rubber bands can be used for a lot of things as well, so it's useful to keep those. Spice kit to spice things up. In each straw, I have a different spice. That one is, what does it say? Garlic. Garlic salt. My favorite. Black pepper. Mm. Black pepper. There's also red pepper flakes. Thin flashlight. I have a small flashlight. Expandable wipes. It's also These, more stuff in here. This is, believe it or not, our toilet paper. Wet wipes. No. They're actually wet wipes. I, when I found out this is toilet paper, I was a bit confused <laughs> on how it works. <laughs> then I found out that this is the kind of magical towel that you put in water and it, it expands and that made so much more sense. Compass, the off-grid GPS. On the tip of it, I crazy glued a compass. So it's kind of like, you just take it off and like, uh, okay, and north is that way. <laughs> 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 Well, that's my top 20 tips for making survival staffs. Remember that your walking stick is your walking stick, and that means you should consider environmental factors in your area, too. That makes sense. Your environment really matters, so if you live in the Great Plains, mountain regions, swamplands, tundra, or the desert, you're going to need regionally specific items. And maybe a nice coat of camo paint. Hey, I like brown. It blends well with the trees around these parts. Well, that's it for this video, and remember the Hunger Games may be coming to an ecosystem near you, and may the odds be ever in your favor. But don't forget our live music and giveaways are now Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Buggy's Short Stuff posts on Wednesdays, and new music with KK on Fridays. And please check out our members, who make many wonderful videos on these topics, too.